Hey guys, and welcome to a video that I didn't think I'd be doing right now, uh, at least not on this time frame. Unfortunately, I have had an incident with my tyres, and hopefully, as you can see in the background, the T60 now has new tyres. Rather unassuming, but I'll talk about them a little bit. My first stop to sourcing some new tyres was to jump online and see if I could find the cheapest all-terrain tyres available. Why all-terrains? You guys voted them in on the YouTube poll, so I complied. I did find some pretty good bargains online, However, it's surprising how often the local guys can give you equal or better value deals. The guys I said hello to were Transwest Tire and Auto. They were great from the get-go with pricing and availability. When I dropped my keys off, I asked if I could film for a video and they were more than happy to show me their workshop. They're friendly, fast, and I've already recommended them to my family. If you need wheels or tires, you gotta check them out. And here's the tires I've gone for, guys. It's the Max Trek SU800. Uh, this is a Chinese tyre, it's a Chinese ute, so it kind of makes sense. Pretty much the cheapest one I could get my hands on, so it'll be interesting to see how it stands up to the off-roading over the next year or so. Aside from still looking fairly stock, which is what I wanted, I've also changed the size. So these bad boys are 265 70 R17s, and that's the biggest tyre you can actually fit on the stock rims. It's also as big as I could go due to state legislation here in WA. So the legislation, feel free to skip forward, is that I can't go any bigger than a 50 mil increase on the total diameter of the optional tyre size of this car, the biggest optional tyre size, which is 255 55R19. That gives you a rolling diameter of 762 millimetres. This one here is 803, so that's well within the 812 millimetre limit. If I was to go 285 or a little bit more on the wall, I'd go to uh, 828 millimetres or 831 millimetres and I'd be over, uh, which I'm not going to do. So these in the old money, 31.6 inches, so 31s. Um, look guys, I'm not an idiot, I'm putting stuff on YouTube. And if I am going to modify it, I've got to do it legally. Alrighty, so now you know about the tyres, we're going to go and try some of the old things that I have done on the previous Giddies and see, number one, can cheap all-terrains actually do a better job? and uh, also experience a little bit more about having bigger tyres off-road. I'm keen. So the last time we were out here, we did a lot of this. And a bit of this. And also this. All right, let's go. Traction control. <laughs> So straight away, that's a major difference with the bigger tyres and the all-terrains. It's pretty much just gone up uh, ones that I would have struggled on the, the Giddies. And uh, it, it hasn't put up much protest at all. I had it in four low. I probably gave it a bit too much welly, um, making a little two litre scream. But uh, yeah, damn, what a difference. So yeah, big difference straight off the bat. But I've done far more than these little hills. So we're off to Buller Creek, where I first really sent the T60. Yep, box on. Yep, more box thorn. Here's a riverbed. It's pretty exciting. Some more box thorn. And here we go. Out of the riverbed, onto the back road, down to Buller River. Nice and easy, although, we could drive down the beach. Might be a bit quicker. Yeah.
myself if I didn't sink the T60 on the beach. A simple air down was the first approach, and whilst we were doing that, Mr. 80 Series turned up. Mr. 80 Series, Brad or Beach Prophet, told me that this is not a good beach at this time of year, and I concur. He had just shown me a technique using his 80 that works well on beaches like this, so I gave it a shot. Step 1. Use gravity and momentum to get you toward the hard stuff at the water's edge. Step 2. Turn up the beach and let it run up as far as you can. Next, and you can see the max treks on 12 psi are floating at this stage, reverse back, ready to repeat the process off the beach. And the second to last step is, of course, to wait for your mate to bring your boards back to you. Sorry, mate. Finally, seatbelts on and get off the beach, back to the road you should have taken. Once we were off the beach, Prophet Brad led us back the way we originally intended to take, and he deposited us at the beach just before Buller River for our next challenge. What a legend. However... Definitely a river. It is a river. So with Buller River living up to its namesake, it was time to air up the Max Trex, meet up with a different crew, and head to another challenge. Alrighty guys, we're at the uh, Wombats and they are significantly more dug out than they were when I went through with the uh, highway tyres. So, let's see how this goes. Alrighty guys, well that about wraps it up for the uh, tyres and testing them out. Pretty happy with them. I'm happy especially with the one inch lift I've gained from it. That certainly made a few things easier. And it's done all of the old obstacles, probably in worse conditions. So pretty happy with that. Now the Max Treks are actually old Bridgestone jewelers. So we'll see if that tread pattern makes any difference. Obviously it's made to Chinese spec now, but We'll see over the next few videos if they uh, turn out to be any good. But in the meantime, thank you very much for watching the video. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Other than that, I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.